Yo, what's up, fam? How have you been? How are you doing? You're back again with another video, another reaction. You see? Uh, yeah, man. You just so know, like, that's music video, man. If you haven't checked out, I'll leave a tag uh, up somewhere there so that you can check it out, man. And the music video, I mean. And yeah, man. Now we're checking how everything just got way worse for Drake, man. Sheesh, okay. Now, as Kendrick Lamar once again has the biggest moment in the entirety of hip hop, as he just released his music video for Not Like Us, the world is once again running around and clowning Drake with all the new material and disses Kendrick threw at him with the visuals in this music video. And at the same time, as Kendrick Lamar has added to this artistic masterclass on how to win a rap beat in unprecedented fashion, Drake is. And I also did like a reaction on the things that we may have missed from the music video. I'll leave it to the game. Man, so that you can take it out. Not been man. doing anything to help his reputation or his career at this point. As for flopping songs things. to even more artists that were once considered close collaborators turning against him. Somehow, even after everything that's already went down, things are only continuing to get worse for Drake, and where it once seemed like the defeat of this moment was only gonna have repercussions on his reputation Shit, and bats. credibility within the hip hop space. In the entirety of the music industry, we have now seen Drake's popularity as an artist plummet in a way where formerly the most coveted feature in the entire music industry is worth about nothing right now. Now, we have of course seen this through Drake and Camila Cabello's collaborations, Hot Uptown and Ugly, which while these songs already had no impact when they released, as they weren't just some of the most generic sounding Drake cuts we have gotten in a while, but they also just further validated Kendrick Lamar's disses towards him as he followed... Keep making me dance with you in my hand and will be no threat. Yeah, I saw... I saw uh... Academics re reaction to the like the numbers there. Uh, okay, hold on. Maybe I mean, we'll exactly what Kendrick said he wanted we'll him to do in his music career following their beef. With Camila Cabello's album selling barely over 30,000 copies, and with these tracks being the biggest moments on the entire album, we have directly seen that even with a pop artist who prior to this has already released some major hits and ones that were candidates for Song of the Summer in years past, the Drake stimulus package is not enough to lift the record even with the inherent star power of this magnitude already onto the charts at all, and from melodic Drake failing here. To, of course, rapping Drake embarrassing himself as well recently on Sexy Red's track, You My Everything. Okay, uh, he didn't talk about the, the songs on the album. Okay, I think there are only two songs that uh, are over 5 million listens from the album. And the, I think the highest one is like at 7 million. Yeah, the one with Drake, I think it's at 7 million or something like that. So... Academics just like say like these are not the numbers that Drake usually does, you know what I'm saying? He's always like doing like big numbers. But it seems like after this whole thing, yeah, he's still Drake but the numbers are like a bit low you know, con compared to the like past numbers that he used to do. So yeah, the steam the Drake steam is no longer hitting like before. Yeah. I've now seen both sides of Drake that in their own ways. Sexy Red's track, you might everything. We have now seen both sides of Drake that in their own ways were always once able to create their own sharp turning moments fall flat on their face. And this is something even DJ Academics has acknowledged. Oh. If we are at the point where arguably Drake's biggest cheerleader and stand throughout this entire feud is saying that the thing that used to be the most coveted asset for an artist in a Drake feature no longer has any value. Beyond the quality of these songs, which we know has went down exponentially, and their chart failure, which has shown that people are less interested in Drake music as a whole. With somebody who Drake was in conversation with throughout his entire back and forth with Kendrick now saying that the artist people have accused him of working for no longer provides the value he once did to the entire music world. We are really seeing the tide shift and beyond just the diminishing status of Drake's music directly. His reputation has only gotten kicked around more recently because even after Kendrick Lamar's mm. pop out concert and his Not Like Us music video already pretty much dismantled any truth left in Drake's yeah. diss tracks. Even more lines have been invalidated on Drake's Family Matters, as none other than Chris Brown was seen turning up to Kendrick's Not Like Us out in public, and he wasn't just vibing to the melody, but he was reciting this. some of the heaviest and most targeted lyrics at Drake in the middle of a public space. And this is just hilarious, because another one of Drake's major shoutouts on that track... You know who even banging said I was a... You see, bitch. It's just laughable, as the same artist Drake tried to get to support his cause have now all turned against him, and honestly... 
This can also confirm to us that CB probably would have performed at the Pop Out concert as a whole if he was not on tour currently, which would have made for another viral moment, and now, with another one of the guys Drake made some of his biggest hit songs Jeez. with in the past five years turning no. on him. That is another no, major is. artist who I would not expect to see collaborate with Drake in any capacity for a long time, and now as all of this is happening, what the craziest thing and something Shit. Drake seems to be getting a look- It would have been insane, man. Chris Brown performing at uh, the pop out, man. How would have been insane, man. Shit, I can see it, man. Shit, man. Oh my way, it would have been insane. On a flag for online right now was just how everything went down on the day when Kendrick dropped the Not Like Us video, which was, of course, on the 4th of July, which after seeing the pattern of how Kendrick was moving, and also the rumor that Drake has been planning to release another diss track aimed at Kendrick as a whole when this video did indeed drop. Drake didn't just miss his final chance to shift any bit of the hate surrounding his name or Wait, brand what? for the- Hold on, let me read Drake this. didn't just miss his final- Another district. Big is rumored to drop another district around the same time Kendrick releases the music video for more like ah, uh, shit man. It's been like more than five days now. Yeah, I think. I can't you have Kendrick as a video. whole when this video did indeed drop. Drake didn't just miss his final chance to shift any bit of the hate surrounding his name or brand for the rest of what is going to be the longest summer ever for him. But he missed it by being at Michael Rubin's white party, which just in of itself felt so telling in a way in terms of where both Kendrick and Drake stand. As with Kendrick, he is setting himself up as a voice and champion of the people as during this major event that so many celebrities, athletes, and artists that so... As I'm on to... Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I was there. Shit, man. This is... This event is being attended by a whole lot of people. Somebody told Kendrick, like... To release the, 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 the full song to the sneak pair on the big, you know, if not like that music video, man. We really need that, man. So many people criticize for being sellouts are all in attendance at. Kendrick dropped a video where he isn't just clowning one of the guys who is at the top of this culture in the eyes of many people and destroying every single thing that he stands for. But by being in his hometown in the video and being right within his community in so many him. different locations. In a time where events like the one Drake was at make the world feel more fake, disingenuous, and superficial. Kendrick is setting himself apart by just being something that we all want to see more of, which is authentic, and now beyond what this represents in the very moment. And the internet clowning Drake for not just being here, but for also looking like he's aged a ton as he made his first major public appearance since this beat and just looked like he has not slept in weeks. He what I think is worth out, noting man. about this part. Bro, does the video wearing all white? While Drake is at the all white pie. Yeah, man, I saw this, but people say, like, this guy is, like, having his old... Oh, white party, man. <laughs> and he's waving, man. I'm sure this was, uh, this was occurring, man. This was insane, man. Drake looks tired. Event, despite how much he is getting from the larger portion of the hip-hop world, there were a lot of people who were still supporting him here with a lot of major celebrities just standing by Drake's side as they are just as delusional as him. But also, what's more important to note about this moment when it comes to the actual future of Drake's music career is that I think we learned about which rappers are gonna stick by his side and be featured on his next album and which ones may just really be at odds with him after all because during this party we saw Drake hanging out with E yeah. who at this point seems like the biggest artist Drake has in his corner and also Glorilla who Drake even posted a picture of him with on his Instagram story so he was also seen performing at the party with Lil Baby and this is very important because aside from the fact that Lil Baby has been getting a lot of scrutiny over the past few years for releasing some of the most boring music that any rapper of his magnitude could. <laughs> I this, forgot that this guy can hate, but this guy's biggest He has been getting a lot of scrutiny over the past <laughs> few years for releasing some of the most boring music that any rapper of his magnitude could. This confirms to us that the story Man about Drake having man. some serious beef with another major rapper in the industry who has collabed with him a ton and has multiple hit records with is not Lil Baby, which has... <laughs> Drake, the industry you guys have been Drake and has multiple has hit records with is not Lil Baby, which after being featured on Future and Metro Boomin's second collab album We Still Don't Trust You earlier this year, it seemed like there could have been some tension between these two. But now with them performing together, we know that there was no beef between them. And with this being proven false, and now Lil Baby seemingly being one of the few rappers who is publicly supporting Team Drake, that leaves two rappers in question of who may have beef with Drake still, and based on the report that somebody big in the music industry hates Drake, that DJ Academics can Travis Scott? Hold on. I'm gonna make sure that there's another close rep. 
Rebel close to Drake, that should be really hate him. I found out Drake got an up that none of us knew about. That is a huge rapper. That we all think he is his friend. You like, and they cool, they got big records together. But no, that nigga hates him too. Fans are speculating could be Travis Scott a little bit. Who think could be? Scott? The main candidates left are Lil Wayne and Travis Scott. And now both of these rappers were at this same party. Of and I, I saw this thing, people say like, uh, Drake and, and, and Lil Wayne are not cool because Lil Wayne was saying something like, Lil Wayne is the only person who like came to him and like spoke to him, you know what I'm saying, man? So, yeah, I don't know. And there's this thing that is popping up again that Drake... Uh, Slept with Lil Wayne's girlfriend when while he was locked up, man. Sheesh. Man. Left are Lil Wayne and Travis Scott, and now both of these rappers were at this same party as well. While we don't have any further news on where any of them stand at this point, I don't think Lil Wayne, despite what Kendrick said on Not Like Us, would turn against the guy who he signed and brought into Shame. the industry as historically. You haven't had the other side, man. People are saying like. Lil Wayne still, like, helps that day, man, for Drake, like, sleeping with his girl while he was locked up, man. And, yeah, Not like man. us would turn against the guy who he signed and brought into the industry as historically. Even when Trump Drake and Kanye were at the height of their feet, man. Wayne never chose sides and seemed to embrace both artists. And knowing this, and on top of that, knowing that despite Travis Scott being in so many videos from this party and always pretty much being at the center of any major event, whether he is destroying a DJ booth, or is just way more turned up than anyone else. Seeing Travis not with Drake once at this party is only adding more fuel to the idea that Drake's subliminal disses on push-ups about him Metro Boom. Really low stage, y'all were telling that was slick as hell. Sure, I'll probably change if you be mama stuff. And future turning up to like that at the Rolling Loud stage being about Travis directly. And maybe even that Travis and Drake were never as close as we once thought. So overall. With Team Drake now giving him the roster of Lil Baby, Glorilla, and Yeet. Meanwhile, everyone else is only jumping on the Kendrick Lamar wave more and more as he continues to break records. I think that as the Drake feature no longer holds the value it once did, and the artists left in Drake's corner give him a roster of names behind him that are mediocre at best, right. we are really starting to see the long-term consequences of the- I actually just canceling hair too because he- the sales are low, yes. man. We are really starting to see the long-term consequences of this beef for Drake because the fact that people no longer even want to listen to his songs that are designed to be hits and are criticizing him for things that he was once praised for. All in all, it's shown that by Kendrick coming back outside, dissing Drake, but also most importantly about what he pulled off doing it in a way that is authentic over everything. Kendrick has shifted the tides not just in hip-hop, but in pop culture at the moment. And if we are in a world well, where people up. want more of artists who value authenticity and honesty over everything else, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. So with all this said, let me know. What do you think about how the Drake feature has turned into something that is useless at the moment, and how this entire beef is spiraling out into something that has changed the general culture about the entire rap world and music industry at this point? I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and if you want to see how Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake in the Not Like Us music video in some of the most genius ways you ever could, Check out the suggested video. Yeah, man. Let me know what you think <clears throat> about this whole thing, man. Do you think Drake is going to, like, uh, fall off? I doubt that, man. I highly doubt that. Drake is still going to be... I feel like Drake is gonna still going to be Drake. But, yeah, I agree with the part, like, he sales like... Like, when you reach, like... It's like, when you reach the, the high point, there's nowhere else to go, like, down. You know what I'm saying? Drake has done everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm not against Drake, I don't hate him or anything, but, yeah, man, he's just gonna, like, find his real people, you know what I'm saying, at first, people, everyone is just hype you up, man, and then when start just going south, man, yeah, you still see who's, like, really, really with you, you know what I'm saying, man, and then you just settle, I, I don't know, man, 